Hi everyone, it's Kronos and in this video I would like to be showcasing the Artemis set. I think it's called the Artemis set, but yeah, the Light Heat Bow set. So this set I insta- I instantly max limit broke it. And this is what it looks like. I don't really like the way the male helm looks. It looks a bit weird, so I chose to hide it. But yeah, the abilities. So you have very Veritas Veritas's light, light damage plus 30%, lockdown charge time minus 10%, restraint duration plus 10%. And then you have the armor ability, Lucifer's Bane, light damage plus 27%, lockdown charge time minus 6%, Maggie charge rate for light attack, Maggie plus 9%, and then this one's plus 3, so... Yeah, um, the lockdown charge time, if you perfect roll, this set has the most out of all the other heat bow sets. So that's pretty nice. And the bow abilities are super nice as well. So you have the fastest lockdown charge time and then you have the restraint duration, which is the time it's restrained. So restraint duration plus 39%. I, what was this? Um... This one is 27%, so it's um like 10 12% longer. So that's quite big. And then um with the light attack Maggie charge speed, that's also um really good, especially with the um two with the two charge what what's it called? The two step ma light ma the two the the really strong Maggies that take a really long time to charge. Especially with those coming up hopefully soon, this will be super useful. And the abilities, I'm changing this to quad. So, not the abilities, but the slot is red, blue, red. So yeah, let's go. I guess I'll do the dark arena. So I'll be showing off some skills and like whatnot, like how to quick roll. And um, about the heat bow, so... I said to people, you will either really love it or you will hate it. And um, the reason is because this is probably one of the hardest weapons to use in the game if you want to use it well. And um, you definitely need at least a 5 out of 7 set to actually like, to make it decent. So the lockdown charge time, that's basically the speed, I'll, I'll talk about it while I do it, but... The lockdown charge time, that's basically the speed it takes to fully charge an hour. So if you only have like one, two, three pieces, the time it takes to actually charge that shot takes a really long time. And um, as you saw there, the arrow it went through um, to spit, um, it charged, it went, it hit two spots with one shot. So that's a pierce shot. So that's the. Um, standing special action i guess you could call so um the body the behemoth has limbs and um when the arrow goes through the limbs that's when um the you get the pierce shot so so when you get like multiple hit markers that's when it pierces and um to like in to infinite roll you basically just roll and then tap so that's how P you see people roll really fast. So if you're, I can do this with one hand, but if you're new, I recommend doing this with two hands. You use one to roll, one to roll, and one to tap. So yeah, that's how you basically do it. And then you have the kneel shot, which is basically that you shoot three arrows. Okay, I was hoping that restrained it, but. You shoot three arrows and the spread is pretty wide there. So that I use to, um, I only use it with awkward, um, awkward, what's it called? Awkward markers. So, um, yeah, the only time you would probably want to use the kneel shot is with either weird markers or then, um, why is this not? With weird markers or then, um, when they're like close together, so when the markers are spread together. So those are the only times you want to use it. Everything else I recommend the standing shot. Because um, first of all the pierce as well, 
it charges faster so that charges faster than that and then the pierce depending on where you hit the behemoth will hit the behemoth many times so that will also make it do more damage so essentially you'll be dealing a lot more damage at once and then the last spot I only have Lux Ladusi and the S rank Maggie. So as you saw, like one of the shots arrows did four it did it hit it four times. So um yeah you're charging your the charge time is less and you're hitting for more. This thing is annoying. But um yeah this thing I tend to like to kneel shot because the markers are close together. And um when you're in tower and stuff I usually like to leave one spot open to try and cancel the behemoth's ultimate. So, um, yeah. This was a light heat bow. It's definitely worth it. It's probably the best heat bows around. And it does last a lot. So if you're thinking of a set that's worthwhile, one that lasts for a really long time it's the, it's definitely gonna be this one but you're either gonna love it love using it or hate using it but as i was saying before a bit before i know i keep changing subjects when i talk and i know that people don't like it when i do that i get comments and stuff on it but um in tower so when you're not locking down you essentially just want to spam your maggie to deal damage and then um when the behemoth is about to ultimate that's when you want to hit the last spot to cancel the ult but yeah this was the artemis set i hope you guys enjoyed bye